with a head-mounted camera, video goggles, and a computer that comes on a backpack, AP writer Greg Bluestein steps into a soap opera. Hey, Trip, how are you? How you doing, man? A lab made over to look like a living room is the set for the soap starring Grace and Trip, a virtual reality married couple with a flair for the dramatic. You have no reason to complain. There's just nothing to complain about. A friendly visit turns awkward and uncomfortable as the pair force Greg to referee their marital dispute. I was not talking to you. You guys have a wonderful life, a wonderful relationship, so they just let it all out, you know. She felt she was being dominated. He is terribly afraid of being poor. I try to be romantic with you, but you're cold and distant. I do. I really try. How will it end? Will Greg save Grace and Tripp's marriage? The answer soon. First, some background on what researchers call augmented reality. It's sort of a tweak on reality, right? Georgia Tech student Stephen Dow and associate professor Blair McIntyre hope to bring it to a living room near you. The computer is far less powerful than an Xbox 360, a PS3, or a Wii. But it is high tech. The camera and a special pattern on the ceiling allow the computer to track no, Greg's movements. Greg. You can come into this apartment and do anything you want. You can touch the pictures, you can pick up the phone, pick up the wine bottles, and it will react. Characters also react to what Greg says. We want you to be able to say whatever you want to say. It gave us the opportunity to, to give very smooth interaction, smooth conversation with the characters. I'm miserable! I can't stand friggin' looking at you. Why can't you just enjoy your relationship? Meanwhile, Greg is making progress with Grace and Tripp. Tripp, I've used you. The fighting ends. The couple decides to give their marriage another chance. This is the one good ending that it can get to, which is very rare. And Greg sets a virtual Greg, high score. That's so nice of you to say. Jason Bronis, The Associated Press, Atlanta.